Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In today's video, we're going to cover the zero exponent. Now, there's many ways you can encounter the zero exponent, and we're going to try to facilitate all those ways that, that you may encounter it, right? For the most part, anything raised to the power of zero is always going to give us a one, right? It just becomes the constant one. And so we're going to take a look at these six problems that range from very easy to a little bit more difficult and applications of how the zero exponent works. So let's begin with the first problem here. So our first problem here is going to be x to the power of zero. And again, anything that's raised to the power of zero becomes a one. All right, and now the application of this works a little bit differently. As we'll see in problem two, we have a multiplication of three times x to the power of zero. And what occurs here, as we know x to the power of zero is one is, we're going to substitute x to the power of zero with just the value of one, because x to the power of zero becomes one. Now also remember that the zero exponent is only affecting what it's next to. It doesn't affect the whole thing. So when you see 3x to the power of zero, uh, 3x's to the power of zero, only the x to the power of zero becomes a one. And this then just multiplies with the three, which gives us just three. All right? Now, in another case, we'll see when it turns everything into one. And the only time that occurs is when we have a term inside the parentheses where the exponent is being applied to everything inside the parentheses. And this is considered one term now, not separate terms like problem two here where we are multiplying three times x to the power of zero. Here we have five times x inside the parentheses raised to the power of zero. So everything inside the parentheses just becomes a one, which is our final answer for part three here. Now let's move on to problem four where we're using division instead of multiplications to see how this exponent affects everything. So if we have x to the power of 0 over 4, again, only the numerator here is becoming a 1, not the whole thing. And the 4 just remains 4. And that would be our final answer for this. Now if we had a reciprocal of this situation where the denominator had an exponent of 0, we had a number like 14 over x to the power of 0, x to the 0 here in the denominator becomes just a 1. And 14 divided by 1 again is just 14. So very commonly, we'll continue finishing the operations that we have at hand after we take care of the zero exponent, all right? Now finally, for our little bonus problem here, number six, the bigger challenge of the problem is one that has an application of the zero exponent next to other things with exponents and a constant. And so here again, just x to the zero becomes a one. So we have 15 times one times y to the third power, and this becomes 15 y cubes. And that covers everything you need to know for the zero exponent. Thank you.